Welcome to my channel, Aquarius. If you're returning, welcome back. Oh, wow. Okay, that's too many cards, but... Whoa! Okay. showed up in your reading Aquarius the star card and the page of cups hopes and fears the ten of swords the ace of cups a death and a rebirth okay Okay, Aquarius, let's start with your signifier. Your signifier is the Nine of Wands representing the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This represents of going through it like you've been through it, like you've been through the disappointments, you keep fighting, you keep trying to get ahead in a situation, but you keep feeling like you're falling back. Um... However, you're standing your ground. You're not giving up. You know, you may have like some disappointments or whatever, but you're not giving up. You could go through it all or whatever. The universe, whatever, could put you through it, but you're not backing down. In the Eight of, here you have the Eight of Wands representing the air signs, representing Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is mental. As you can see, she's looking in the... She's like reflecting herself in the mirror, but she's not actually chained up or anything. She's not tied up. But her in her own mind believe like she doesn't see herself out of a situation. She may be feeling stuck in a situation. But she actually can let go of... You know, she can be released from the situation. This is only how she sees herself. So it's all mental. Like if she really wants to break away from a situation, she really can. Crossing you here is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is usually someone who works hard. It's usually the sign of Sagittarius. Someone that looks good and always works hard, always manifesting, making things happen constantly. But this is what's crossing you and blocking you. For some reason, maybe you're taking some time out from working so hard. You're giving yourself some rest, some TLC. And right now, it's just not the time to work, work, work. You'll come back to that later. I see you here in the foundations and I feel like this is more of inner conflicts where you're going through a lot of inner conflicts within yourself about certain situations, about maybe trying to make something happen, but you're almost there, but you're quite not there just yet. Like it feels like you're being pulled back every time you're like ready to step into a new place, a new job, a new uh, location, whatever it is. You feel like you're almost there, but something keeps pulling you back and you're just barely touching it. You're like right there, but it's like I'm, I feel like I'm being held back, which makes sense with the eight of swords, feeling stuck in a situation. In your recent past, you have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is one, someone coming in with clear communication of something, sharp, blunt communication. It's going to be clear thinking, clear communication. And it's going to come in fast. And this was in the recent past. So in the recent past, something, some kind of a message came in for you pretty clear and pretty fast. 
Could have been from an air sign, not necessarily. Here you have the Page of Swords. You may be starting something new, a new job, school, whatever it is. You may be studying a new business, figuring things out just at the beginning stages of it, learning something. You may be very studious right now. Page of Swords is also someone who can be like spying on you or you're spying on someone with the Page of Swords. But I see this more as being studious, learning something new, the beginning phases of a job, the beginning phases of a career, of a business. And you're learning everything about it. Okay, so here in your future position, you do have the Knight of Wands who's been popping up all over the place for just about every sign I've read so far. The Knight of Wands is usually someone who's in and out. It's also a card of being creative. So you may be coming into creativity soon in the near future. You may be feeling great. You may be feeling really good, fiery, feeling beautiful, and being creative. I hope you're not picking up the background noises out there. Oh, boy. Um, Actually, why did I pick up that card? Okay, so here you are, and you showed up in your own reading, Aquarius. This is the star card representing Aquarius. This is the universe blessing you. So you are being blessed. You are being guided. The universe is making a way. You are releasing not anything that does not serve you. You're releasing the past. You are releasing any hurt. And you're moving into the future bright and positive with your third eye open. And you're seeing things clearly. You're going to step into some kind of stardom where you're going to be seen publicly. There's something that's going to bring like some kind of success where you're going to be seen publicly. It's going to bring you respect. It's going to bring you some kind of fame. And I believe it's going to bring you money as well. You're going to be seen a lot on um, Facebook. You're going to be celebrated. The healing is done. You have purged out a lot. The healing is done. Here in your environment, you have the King of Cups. Someone could be coming in with an offer from a Pisces. Um, and it could make you emotionally fulfilled. This is someone you can trust, someone who's stable and grounded, even though it's a Pisces. Someone that's that you know does meditation, is wears their heart on their sleeve, and they could be offering you whether it's romance or whether it's even a job of some kind that might bring you some emotional fulfillment. You'll feel good around this person and you'll know that if you're going to even work with this person that you'll feel comfortable, you'll feel good because this person is, they give off good vibes. It's going to be a person you can trust. In your hopes and fears, you do have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords represents so um, backstabbings and things like that. Maybe you feel of either being backstabbed. You could also feel like, you know, usually in the traditional tarot, there's like a bunch of knives in the back and, and then you're feeling at your lowest point. But then from there, you can only go up. But you're not in this Ten of Swords. That could just be mental. Like you're just, it's like a worry of, you know, going backwards or something. Like going back into a position of feeling, you know, like at the bottom in a way. I, I don't know who that's for, but. But you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. 
Here you have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups could be bringing in a new love. Usually it represents the water signs. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It represents new love coming in, or it can be a rekindling, a rekindling, rekindling, <laughs> rekindling of a, you know, of a, um, oh my God, I can't even get the words out of my mouth right now. It could be a rekindling of your love right now, of your current love, of your current relationship is what I want to say. So if things have been stagnant, then you're going to feel the love again. You're going to feel supported. You're going to feel, you know, more, probably more sexual, more sexy. You know, things are coming back into play. If not, someone new is coming in for you. <clears throat> Here you have the death card. This is a death and rebirth. So something had to die out for something new to come in. So it could be where you went through a spiritual transformation where the old you died out and now you're being reborn or you were just reborn into this new person. This is the card of Scorpio. We are in November. And this is for the last week of November. But you are definitely going through a, re a change, a transformation. You're dropping anything from the past and you're stepping into the new. At the top of the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You may have to turn your back away on some things, maybe some responsibilities. And you're trying to give yourself some self-care. You're trying to, you know, you've always studied. You always work. You're always doing things. And right now you're just taking some time to give to you. Which is really needed right now. You know, you're giving back to yourself. This is you healing yourself. Going through that healing process. And giving back to you. So you're taking time out to love you. Take care of you. And that's important. At the bottom of the deck. Don't worry about the ten of swords. Because you do have the nine of pentacles. And the nine of pentacles is basically the card of abundance. Having it all. You're either you know able to take care of yourself. Or you're being cared for. You have what you need. You have everything you need. You have your relationship. You have your home. You have a good life. You don't lack for anything. You don't lack anything in your life. You do have. So like I said, this Ten of Swords is, is, is mental. It's simply mental. And because that is in your, just your hopes and fears. Maybe the hope is that you don't go back there. Maybe you saw yourself there at one point, but now you don't. Your fear is, I don't want to go back there. So what you need to do is switch your thinking. Not to, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back there to, I want something. I want to stay in this energy. Oh, wow. I picked up this card and right under it is the sun card. Let me show you guys. I picked up this card and the sun card is right under it. Things are going to be okay. Things will manifest for you. Don't worry, if you feel like you're stuck, that's all mental. That's all, you are not stuck. You are not stuck by any means. You do have abundance here. You have the sun card right under that. Things are happening for you. I'm gonna put down my lover's oracle cards. past <laughs> and it says soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically they probably already have <laughs> oh another one real quick present it says romance cupid's arrow strikes either you're gonna meet someone 
or you're rekindling your love right now as you speak like it's coming you started to nurture your relationship for a uh, uh, future it says reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best outcome and it says playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer bring out your child your inner child be playful with each other have fun it's so important to, to keep things fresh Okay, wait a second. I have some of these turned the wrong way. Let me just fix that real quick. Looking again, I still. I'm just trying to make sure my cards are right. <clears throat> okay. Oh, this one went flying. Healing heart. It says healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. And that's in the past. Present. Seriously, this thing is just all twist like like again. Hold on, let me fix these cards real, really quick. Okay. with a key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect <clears throat> somebody may be meeting the one someone may need to open their heart to a current relationship or to someone new and getting together will be perfect you may need to open up the heart chakra Coffin, it says endings brings new bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. That goes with this card, the death card. So something had to die out to start something new. They needed growth, change, a transition. That's future. And it looks like you still may be going through some transition still, like some leftover transition butterfly. Oh God. It says evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. Playfulness, healing the inner child. Bring laughter into the relationship. Be playful. Your relationship is evolving. It's growing. You're growing. So now I'm going to do my Angels Answers cards. I'm going to put three cards down. Group one, group two, and group three. Think of a question you have for the cards. Group one, I don't know if you can see it. Group one. I want to turn this a little more this way. Just so you could kind of get a... Group two. Group 
three. Okay, so pick a pick a card or pick a gem <laughs> and think of a question for that card. The card is going to reveal the answer to you. So group one, let's start with Amethyst. It says look for a sign. Whatever your question is, look for a sign. Group two, communicate clearly. Maybe you need to communicate clearly with your significant other or other people. And group three is unlikely. So maybe it's unlikely for now, but not necessarily for later. So whatever that question is, it's unlikely it's going to happen at this time, whatever that question is about. And guys, if you like this reading, please do like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section, hit the notification bell. Um, do check my descriptions down below if you would like a much more private, accurate reading. Um, I do have that in the description box as well as uh, tarot cards for sale and oracle cards for sale. If you would like a Reiki healing, do check out my friend at Unique Serendipity on Facebook. And also check out Phoenix Gibbs and her awesome, her awesome bracelets that I have so many of these bracelets. I love them. And she has a lot of healing products and cleansing shower gels, all kinds of stuff that smell amazing. So do check out Phoenix Gibbs. She's also here on YouTube. So have a look at her stuff there. She does a... Uh, Oracle cards. Um, she, how is it? Um, like positive messages. It's really nice. So do check her out. And um, until next time, namaste and love and light.